So let's look at a simple password exponential key exchange. So in this case, uh, Bob has a password and Alice also has a password. And what we'll be able to do is to generate an encryption key based on that, on those passwords. So the first method that we'll look at is the implementation using uh, discrete logs. And then we'll look at how we can implement this in elliptic curve methods. So initially what we do is that we'll have a password and then we take a hash of that password and that hash value we then uh, square it, we convert it to a, an integer and square it and then take the mod of p where p is a large prime number. The reason that we square the hash value is to make sure that we can create a generator value for our discrete logs in respect to uh, p, our prime number. After we've done that, then it's fairly easy for us to implement a standard Diffie-Hellman method. Uh, Alice generates a random number a and b, and Bob does the same and generates b. Alice will then send g, what we've just calculated, uh, to the power of a mod p, and b will and Bob will send g, the hashed value, uh, the generator value here, and then raises it to the power of b, which is a secret for him, and then does mod p. Then in the end, uh, Alice takes b, raises it to the power of a, and uh, Bob will take Alice's value and raise it to the power of b. What we should end up with in the end is g to the power of ab mod uh, p. And that gives us our uh, uh, shared, shared key that both Bob and Alice will be able to uh, use. Okay, so there's the calculation that we can have here and also using Euler's, Euler's uh, theorem, we can also calculate it from this a times b mod p minus one, and that's the power of g and then we take mod p for that. Okay, so here is some code that we could use to be able to implement uh, this. So in this case, we're generating a prime number. We're now taking the hash of a password. In this case, the password is called pi. And we convert it to an integer. And then uh, we'll use it. Uh, we'll square it and that gives us our generator value. After that, we generate a and b, and the value that Alice will send is g to the power of a mod p, and Bob will send g to the power of b mod p in there. So those values uh, should are those values that are sent here and here. Okay, then when Alice receives, she'll take Bob's value, raise it to the power of A, and Bob will take Alice's value and raise it to the power of B. And this should give us our result here, so the two keys should be the same. We can then check that. We take A times B, and we raise G to the power of A times B uh, to mod P, and we should get the same key here. We can also do it A times B, and then we can take mod P minus one, and then raise that g to the power of ab uh, mod p and that should also be the same value that we have here. Okay, so here's a sample run here. We can see here there's the value of g that we have. There's the prime number we're selecting. Those are the values we're sending over and in the end the shared key should be the same and also the same of g to the power of ab mod p or g to the power of ab mod p, p minus 1 for the ab part mod p will give us the same volume here so we'll try that out as an example okay so let's try a 128 bit value and every time that we do it we should end up with the same shared key here and here we'll increase it to 256 bits and we can see here and here here that the key value is just the same. 
So obviously the the password that we use we will always get the same G value here but because we're using a random A and B values then we'll get a different value for that. So if we try 128 bits we'll see here for our hash Okay, so this is the these are the values here that we that we get. Now let's convert this into an elliptic curve problem. So rather than g to the power of a, we would have a times g. So rather than an exponential, it becomes a multiplicative operation. G is a generator point on the elliptic curve, and we multiply that by a value of A. So with this, what we do is we take a hash of the password, and then we'll map it to a point on the elliptic curve. So then if, if we have this point P here, then that will allow us to match to the curve. Then again, it's just a Diffie-Hellman uh, problem. Both Bob and Alice will have the same point. Alice multiplies by A, and Bob multiplies by B. And then in the end, uh, the key that, uh, that Alice creates is A times the value that Bob has sent. And for Bob, uh, we'll take the value that Alice sends and multiplies it by A. In the end, we should get ABP as the point on the elliptic curve, which is the shared key, and we often just take the x uh, coordinate of that. Okay, so basically we hash on the elliptic curve, we find the first point on the x, which will actually fit the hash value of the of the of the curve when we take uh, the uh, the hash value times g the generator point we will find a point at which it uh, it it cuts the the it generates a point an x y point okay so if we look at the code for this one then we see here that uh, what we're really doing is to be able to uh, generate our value here. We get our hash value here, and then what we'll do is we'll multiply that by our g value to get uh, the point. Next, we take the a and b values, we take that point that we just discovered, and then we can. Uh, define A and B, multiply that, and then get the keys here, and hopefully it should all work out as before. We can check again. This time we take uh, A, B, and then mod of the order of the curve, and we should get the same answer here. And when we run it, we should see that we get the same key value, and then when we check, that gives us the same result here. Again, we'll try this out and see what we get. Okay, so this time we don't have a prime number. It's already set up for us. And when we run it, we should see uh, that the G point that we get when we hash the password will always do the same, but the A and the B value will actually change. Change the password, and this will change the point at which uh, it reaches the elliptic curve. Okay, so that's been a, an overview of uh, our simple password exponent key exchange.